Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Frank, and today we're going to be making the original 10 rings. talking about the original 10 rings and why aren't they on your forearm. Now a lot of you have seen the new Shang-Chi movie, it was great, and I'm gonna do my best to not spoil it, but as you've seen in the previews, the rings are on his arm. Now this was a change made in the MCU to not confuse the original 10 rings with something like the Infinity Stones, which I kinda get, that could probably get a little confusing. Now aside from other lore that they changed in the movie, which you'll have to just go and see and I definitely recommend it, these are the actual 10 rings wielded by the Mandarin in the comics. He's one of Iron Man's greatest enemies, and these things have some pretty cool powers. That's why all these rings are different colors. They each mean different things. Now first, I want to thank Nico Industries for sponsoring this video and providing me with the files to these rings. And if you guys want to go check these out and get your hands on them, there's a link for that down below, so don't miss out. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you guys, which versions did you like more? Did you like the MCU versions that went around his arms, or did you like the original comic book versions like these? Now let's hop back in time, and I'll show you how I painted these. So unlike some of the other videos, I'm not really going to cover printing these too much. They're just round rings. These are super simple to do, but they're all detailed differently. Just rest it on your build plate and print it. I resin printed these on my Epax E10, I believe is what I use, but you can use something like an Elegoo Mars Pro. They're definitely tiny enough to do on almost any resin printer or any FDM printer. Just arrange them, lay them flat, set it to a super high quality, and let them go. I decided that I was going to need to print a couple of these due to scaling. So I printed out a 90% scale, 100% scale, and 110% scale to make sure they can fit all my different fingers and that they were comfortable and didn't get stuck. So I have all three sets of rings printed and stacked. It was a little tricky discerning which ones were which, so I went back to the files themselves and wrote down on the inside what they were. Now the ones on top are gonna be the 95% ones, and those fit most of my uh, fingers pretty nicely. I can get them on pretty comfortably. And then the bigger ones were for my thumbs and my middle finger, and then the pointer finger on my right hand because I'm righty. Now I have to figure out the colors. Now some of them are pretty easy, a metallic red, a metallic gold. I don't think any one of them is the same color gold. It's like a lighter gold and a darker gold, and then almost a copper, a white. Nightbringer's a little weird being a gloss black, but not really. So now it's gonna be getting all the paints I need to paint all of them, and I can do pretty much all at once. Okay, so I got some colors figured out. And when I go to the store, I might swap some of them and I still have, I need to go to the store to get one more. But while I wait for some of the other colors, the ones I have definitely decided on, I'm gonna start painting. We got some color here, some uh, metallic greens, and a really nice light baby blue that we're gonna test out for that one kind of white, kind of blue ring. Let's finish this up. Okay, so here are the final 10 colors of the 10 rings. Now, the metal cast were the pretty much very simple to do. You do a metallic base coat underneath it, so the red, purple, and the blue came out really nice. The white, since it was a pearl top coat, I needed a white base coat, and the primer fulfilled that just perfectly. And then you have the two golds and the copper. Now, these ones were a little bit open to interpretation. All three of these rings in the picture kind of looked gold. One was a little light, one was a little dark. So I tried to make them pretty distinct with gold brass that's a little more muted as opposed to the dupa colored gold. And then this one is just like a copper brass, so that's pretty easy. And then as opposed to the two that looked white, one is really just a chrome, and I'm pretty happy with that kind of close up next to it in the right light it looks almost similar but they are definitely different rings and these are the two colors that i needed i ended up going with a forest green pearl and then a light blue matte and then i hit them with just a little bit of clear coat to make them shine those are the colors i used and obviously you're going to have different options and availability depending on where you live so do some testing you can you, the sky is kind of the limit with these because there are a few um, interpretations of them in the comics there's ones where they're just basically gemstones on gold rings these ones are a lot cooler though so i'm gonna let them dry up for a little bit and we'll wrap this up Thank you. 
As I explained in the video, I did print multiples of these for sizing reasons, and some fit, some don't, some might be a little loose. I do have some plans to make the cinematic version, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And one last time, I'd really like to thank Nico again for sponsoring this video, and as I said before, the link for the rings is down below. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns about anything I did in the video, it's something I didn't elaborate on, please drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe to the channel, don't forget to ring the notification bell and enable all. I know it seems like a lot, but that's just how YouTube works nowadays, and I want you to stay up to date on all the videos I post. Well, that does it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and you have a good day.